Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Ramadan Daily. <laughs> So today, it feels so good to be starting my vlog in this room again. Oh, I know I'm being so dramatic. I literally left like two and a half weeks ago, but I don't know. I'm just gonna really miss this room. But I am getting ready to start packing all my things. So I just brought up a suitcase over here. By the way, yes, I am wearing <laughs> the exact same outfit as yesterday. I just switched out my hijab for you guys. But um, yeah, I mean, I wanna start packing all of the makeup. So the only makeup that I'm actually bringing is in here and then also in here. Now the problem with makeup is that it is very heavy. So I feel like I'm not even gonna be able to fill this suitcase up without it getting to be over 50 pounds. So either I will pay the extra amount, um, like the over fee, or I don't really know what I'm gonna do. But uh, that's all the makeup that I'm taking. And I figured I was gonna bubble wrap it at first, but I figured I might as well just save on like room and stuff for the rest of my packing and just use my like crinkle cotton hijabs because they're very fluffy and they're quite light. So I'm gonna be using these just to kind of like wrap all the products in there so that they don't break. And then I have to figure out what I'm doing with this stuff. I'm not gonna be taking this obviously in like the baskets, but a couple of the boxes I might take like the Cartier box and like some of the other ones, like the Chanel one, I probably might take as well. I'm not really sure. I might just leave it here. Who knows? There's just a lot to actually go through. I personally have never, like, moved all my entire life. Like, people who have gone through moves with homes and stuff, it's probably a little bit different. You're probably used to this, but I have, like, zero idea where to start with all of this. I've never moved my entire life other than, like, you know, moving to France and going for school, but at that point, I only brought my clothes. But uh, today, I am actually going to be cooking for the fam, which I'm excited about. Uh, my brother brought up the grill, so it's on our porch like it was last year, so I'm going to be grilling something. I want to leave the home soon. I don't know. I'm going for a workout in, like, two hours too. Mm. So it's just kind of bad timing with all of this. But I don't think packing my makeup is going to take very long because there's not too much to pack. It's already kind of like I set myself up really well before I left for LA. So yeah, I'm just going to finish that and then I have to go grocery shopping. It is actually so nice out today. Like it's actually hot outside. A little bit humid, which I'm not used to anymore. But yeah, it's actually pretty warm. So I am a camper. Yeah, I'm going to set you guys up. So one second. Right, so that was a lot easier than I thought. Um, I got all the makeup that I'm taking put into there and then on this side, honestly, I'm not even sure what to put because this is already so heavy. Like I feel like it's already gonna be 50 pounds. But I guess what I'm gonna do is I think I might just put in like the boxes, like the little boxes that I wanna keep because these aren't like super heavy. So I can just kind of like throw them in without worrying if they'll break. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I can do. <laughs> I hate this. But my skin is glowing, guys. Like, wow. I'm still using the Biosense products, but I also used a new Guerlain serum. Looks like this, so it has like two different serums on the side and it's like infused with honey and stuff. It just feels really, really moisturizing and nice on the face. So I just applied that and I really like how it made my face look. I'm gonna miss this lighting. Like, when there is good lighting in this room, it looks so good. I love that. So pro tip, if you guys are ever struggling to figure out how much your suitcase weighs, what I always do is just use my regular schmegular digital, what are these, scale. And then I see how much I weigh, I note that, and then I hold the suitcase and then I step back on it and then see how much that is. And then I minus the difference and that is how much it weighs. So luckily this is actually only 41 pounds. So I have another nine pounds that I can fill up in here. So I think I might actually be able to fit in some of the perfumes that I want to take and then potentially also the actual like, um, what's it called? Photo frames and stuff. So I'm gonna see what I can fit and we'll be good to go. I'm actually very surprised that that's not as heavy. It's really funny because one side is so heavy and it's kind of like offset when you pick it up. Um, but yeah, we're good to go. Not as heavy as I thought. So I just got home, I'm looking like a hot mess, um, but I went to the gym. You can't do a minute? 
Huh? I can do it. You can't zoom in and play. I can do it. Amir's at the gym too, guys. I went to a grocery store and I picked up some groceries to make food. And right now it's 8.10 and I literally have like, I don't know, 30 minutes to actually make dinner. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, intro to me. Or not really intro, but just a little time lapse of me at the gym. I Looking back at the footage, like I was dying of laughter. I only had my phone, so I just did a time lapse so that it wouldn't kill my battery um, instead of like videotaping. And like it's just so funny because we did a lot of like up and down movements, and I just look like I'm going crazy basically or like dancing. It's just it's hilarious. But I'm gonna get my tripod, show you guys what I got, and then start cooking because I need to hurry. I just started the grill. I haven't used the grill in like over a year guys this feels so good but um i started up the grill so i'm gonna let that heat up as i prepare i'm making like a beef kofta let me just get my tripod and show you guys i'm gonna have to excuse my appearance because i didn't i mean i don't have time to take a shower before it's far so um yeah i got some beef kofta because i don't have time to actually marinate any beef right now the store near me the grocery store near me actually has halal beef kofta and it has like all the spices and everything in it already so this is a nice healthy amount of that, so I'm gonna be putting that onto skewers. And then I also got some, I call it basbusa, but I think they call it namura, namura. I don't know, but my mom really likes it, so I'm gonna surprise her with that later. I got some blueberries for um, sahur later on. And then I also got some garlic naan because I feel like this could be really good with the kafta. I got some garlic sauce which tastes good with any meat. It's literally just like a garlic paste sauce thingy. Um, and then I got some fatouche. This one's already like kind of pre-made because again, I just don't have time to put everything together. But it basically, it just comes with all the stuff. Um, the vegetables are a little uh, thick than what I'm used to for fatouche, but it's okay. It comes with like the sauce and like the pita bread. Um, but it didn't look like it had enough pita bread. So I actually, the place that I went to was like a Mediterranean um, grocery store and they had actual like fried pita chips already so we can like put this on top of the salad so that, um, yeah, that's like the best part really, you know, in a patouche. But I also just did get some romaine, um, romaine hearts just in case that salad is not enough. My mom asked me if I could pick up some dates so I got that and then... Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's everything. So I am going to quickly put this guy on some skewers that we have prepared and then I'm going to th throw them onto the grill so that they can be ready in time. I think they should be fine. So let's do that. All done with the kafta. We have one little straggler over there, but that's okay. I made eight and they're like the perfect size. So I am gonna move this on to the grill so we can have them in time. So I just put the kafta on the grill and I don't think it'll take very long only because you don't have to cook beef for that long, but they smell so good. Oh my God, I cannot wait to eat. All right, so I'm gonna prepare the salad now. Luckily, it's already kind of in here. We'll just see how much comes with it and see if we need to add. Nan, say hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you always say the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> So I think it's time to flip these. Hopefully they're ready. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Oh no. Okay, let me do one off camera and then see. Okay, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be because it's actually like really soft now, so it's kind of hard to do with this. But I'm gonna flip the rest and then show you guys what it looks like. So Mir's working on the salad for me. Like that? Huh? Yeah, this should be good. And I will show you guys what this looks like. It is looking and smelling so, so good. So 
So I just took them off the grill. I probably cooked them for like 10-ish minutes. Gotta take out all of these skewers. Oh, <laughs> good. It's I can hot. Take it off. It's hot, no? It's hot, isn't it? Okay. Rebel. <laughs> it, it, it cools down pretty quickly. Does it? Mm -hmm. hmm. Look at these beautiful flowers. <laughs> Neutrogena sent over like this really just low key obnoxious thing of, sun, of uh, flowers and like sunscreen all of in it. So sweet, but like they kind of dried up before I even came here. <laughs> I tried. This area looks like a mess. Is it, is it? Should I pour the fat over it? There, guys, there's so much fat left over on the grill. Should we bring Fuck. it over? Ah, I hit my toe. There's so much fat. Should I, what should I do with it? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's too fatty. Like it's already fatty enough. Look, it's but I don't know what to do with it. We can make gravy with this. I don't know. Are you going to do anything with it? Okay, I'm Let's just going to drizzle it on here. Wait, I want to see it. <gasps> okay, yeah, that wasn't as gracious as I thought it would be. <laughs> no! Uh, it's okay. Couldn't Fair get enough. the good angles, but it's all good. I feel like if I didn't do that, there'd be people screaming in the comments like, Why would you get this the best? That the best! Mm. <laughs> wow, guys, and it's 8.45. I started at 8.10. That is great timing. I wonder if the bread is any good, though. Let's see if it's warmed up. Yeah, oh shit, did I warm it up too much? Nah, it's, it's fine. This is Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, that's good. We are all done for the meat. I feel like there's a lot of salad, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Hopefully that's enough. I'm just gonna use my hands. Mm -hmm. Time for the best part. See how oh, little that is? Right. Good thing I bought more. <laughs> I'll get the one with just nut in it. You gotta crush it with your hands a little bit. Yeah. But it's so big. I kind of like them like that though. Mm. Okay, I feel like that is more than enough. <laughs> An unhealthy, healthy salad. Bone. You haven't even eaten anything yet. The salad. <gasps> the look. Stop it. Stop eating all the croutons. Mm. <laughs> this is the spread for tonight, guys. Kind of like Mediterranean inspired. So, of course, we have Mama's soup, which we're going to make when we're in LA again. Um, and then I have the kafta that I made, um, the garlic naan, and then the fatouche salad, which everyone seems to be eating all the croutons. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> it's just croutons. <laughs> and then of course we have um, fruit, a bunch of mango. We are a mango candy. household. And Amir has already started. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. And of course sambusa because what is uh and halba. without that? Halba is nasty. Yeah, well, it's not nasty. Halba mm -hmm. is healthy, honey. Who eats hulba, guys? Let me mm. know in the comments if you know what it even is. Ooh. What is it? Like, what do you like? What is it? Hulba? Hulba. It's like powder? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Pellegrino? Yeah. yeah. Fenugreek? Yeah. Mm. 
Interesting. Okay. Would I say Pellegrino? Well, Raptors, Pellegrino, like San Pellegrino. <laughs> the Raptors are down. Oh. Ah, but it's not bad. It's only yeah, like, it's only four. No? Wait, that five, that's bad math. math. <laughs> <laughs> but we are gonna eat now. I will taste test it that's for you guys when we layer. finish the soup. Open my fish. Oh, fish. Mm. Fish go down. Mm. This is the food guys, my battery is about to die so I'm just gonna enjoy this. You gotta say your bono. You didn't taste the meat yet. Who said that? Look at this. Dip it in the garlic. Dip it oh, in the garlic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Quick before it dies, before it dies. Come on, let's go. Mmm. Bellissimo. <laughs> wow. Guys, I'm so stressed right now. We're in the fourth quarter. They're at 89-81, and there's six minutes and 13 seconds left. They might actually have a chance. I mean, they do have a chance. I have full faith, of course. Yeah. <laughs> like, I already know Jurassic Park is going crazy right now. Oh my god. There's still six minutes left. I know, I know, but but they're actually ahead. Like that's that's enough momentum to keep them going, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, what? Are you serious? And Giannis is injured. No, Giannis is injured, so this is good. Guys, Kawhi just missed a free throw. Giannis is injured, so it's all good. Woo! This is why I don't watch sports, man. This is why no one in our house watches. Exactly. Because <laughs> we get stressed. What are they doing? <laughs> so are you serious? Guys, there's 34.7 so. seconds left. I am about to have a heart attack. You don't understand. What? Come on! Where's the up by three? See how the ref, the, the refs literally hate wait, us? Wait, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. It's <laughs> face. <laughs> 23.4 seconds left, y'all. Yeah! Woo! We're done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> And I'm Raptors in Toronto. In six. Wait, and I'm in Toronto. <laughs> MVP right there. You enjoy that? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I go apart now. <laughs> you got to watch the. the Did game, you even eat yet? The game minute, the the winning oh, seconds. It just came in right now. There you All go. right, enjoy your iftar. Thank you. Bye. Hey, man. See Later, you Amir. in <laughs> See you. Peace. Now let's just close Why is it so now. dark? Hello? <laughs> Amir? You're so rude. <laughs> You're so mean. You just closed the face time on him. <laughs> Why are you calling me back? It's closed. Amir did that, sorry. No, I let him go. He just closed it on you. I let you go. You said You're bye. You're so rude. Yeah, exactly. See, it's fine. Okay, but I didn't say bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rude. Oh my god, his eyes actually like pretty cut up from last All right, day. see ya. Okay, bye. Bye. Yo. What do you got to say? Ooh, Raptors in six. Yes. Mm -hmm. So guys, it's the next morning and I just wanted to pop on here and end the vlog. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was really fun to see the Raptors win and just spend time with the fam, finally cook dinner for them, which was delicious by the way. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, and then follow me along tomorrow for a continuation of today and you can figure out 
well i'm all dressed up well not really my face but you know everything else so yeah i love you guys and i will talk to you in the next video bye Mwah.